and let me pick this up with a, um, by, by splitting the question into two. One is, what is the type of data, I think, which is the first part of the question. And the second question really talks about how do you use that data, which touches upon what's changed in the last five years. So, so picking apart the first part of that question, what, is, what are the type of data that one needs to really be able to, number one, gather, number two, analyze? Uh, in order to have any insights that are meaningful in, in the sense of being a force multiplier, solving more than just that particular interaction with that particular customer, which is what we mean by force multiplier. I would say that uh, there are probably four broad categories of data that we look at in, in the kind of engagements we have. And we've got around 24,000 people in our contact center serving around, like, like you correctly said, a number of Fortune 500 companies, we've got about 80 of them. And what we notice is the following, and I'll pick apart a couple of examples here. Number one, I would say, is data that is fundamentally outside the contact center, product data, service data. What is the customer calling about? What are they saying about the product or the service? Think of that as maybe something about a category that one might call complaints a category that one might call issues with orders, for example, all that bucketed into one called product to service data, uh, but not product to service at the contact center, product to service that the company sells and monetizes on. I would say the second is probably something like a feature and product set of data. Let's, let's call it a feature list of data. It doesn't impact existing customers, but potentially impacts future customers, could impact existing customers who want a feature of a certain kind. And let's call that the wish list data. Mm -hmm. What is your wish list of what you would really want from this company? And um, the amount of data that is shared by customers with respect to this is enormous. If only companies had the will, the culture, and the know-how of how to tap this data. I would say the third set is uh, social data. If we think of the contact center as an insights hub, as a data collection repository, that is one data collection repository, probably the most verbatim form of a data collection repository because you're actually interacting back and forth with someone who's parting with their money to buy product to service. 